Hey everyone, Greg from My Mortgage here. I uh, just want to share some information about valuations, um, when you're going to need a valuation, um, how to go about getting one organized, and then also around the cost. So um, yeah, when do you need a valuation? There's normally about three times that you might need a valuation. So uh, first one is when you have a lower deposit, so less than a 20% deposit. And uh, that's mainly because the bank's wanting to confirm that what you're paying for the property is the uh, correct price. Because uh, if there was a fluctuation in the market, they don't want to have a um, property that is worth less than what the uh, value of the mortgage is. So uh, that's why they want them for uh, people with low deposits. Secondly is when you're buying a house privately. So you maybe you're buying off someone, a friend, uh, maybe you've seen it listed on Trade Me or something like that, that's a private sale. Uh, potentially also you're buying um, a property from a family member, uh, potentially you're buying into a property of a partner who owns a property, something like that. Uh, there's a bunch of reasons why it could be a private sale. Um, so with private sales, they're wanting to protect everyone involved and make sure that the value of the property is uh, similar to the uh, price that you're paying for the property. And uh, then the third thing is when you're building. So anytime you build a property, buying bare land and then building on it, uh, the bank will want a valuation done. They want a valuation at the start to check the value of the land and then also um, from the uh, plans and contract and all that sort of stuff, specifications, so that they can confirm that uh, the price of what you're building or the value of what you're building. And then they'll want one at the end as well uh, to confirm that you have actually built what you said you were going to build and the value matches up. Uh, sometimes they may want some valuations in between time as well. Um, they're called pro progress valuations, but uh, they'll let us know that when we go through that process. In terms of how to go about getting a valuation, um, unfortunately you can't just get the local valuer that uh, you know or whoever's in town to do it. Uh, you'll need to get it ordered through the bank system. So there's two systems the bank uses. So one's called Velocity and one's called CoreLogic. Um, we'll order that for you on your behalf uh, and then you guys pay for it. And once it's paid for, the valuer will get in touch and uh, and then get it all sorted for you. Um, if you uh, maybe are in a smaller town that only has one valuer or maybe um, you, know, you can't get it done in the time frame if it's urgent, there are some things we can do to make sure that the right valuer gets it and, and uh, gets it done in time as well. And in terms of cost, we're generally seen at the moment for like a normal residential property, somewhere between $800 and $1,200 for the valuation. Uh, some of the more obscure properties, if they're more rural, they're bigger, multiple dwellings on one property, uh, those can uh, be quite a bit higher. So um, yeah, any questions about valuations, feel free to let us know. Um, happy to uh, kind of give you an idea of uh, if you'll need one and, and that sort of thing. Thing, um, and who else might be involved. Uh, any questions, just let us know.